Hi, and welcome to Body Metrics, the show that teaches you how to incorporate healthy nutrition principles into your busy lifestyle. Now, typically we would air a cooking episode this week, but I decided to change it up a little bit and today talk about how to arrange your refrigerator to set you up for success. We've got two simple yet impactful tips, so let's get right to it. Number one, make produce visible. So often we tuck our produce in the crisper drawers because let's face it, that's what they were designed for. But I'm gonna challenge that thought and ask you to switch it up. The problem with putting our produce in the drawers is that they are no longer visible and out of sight, out of mind. Remember, the more work we have to do for something, the less likely we are to choose it. Even a simple task like opening the drawer can be hard. Instead, place the fruits and veggies on display so you will actually eat them and store other products like yogurts and other known items in the drawer. Now a quick storage note, produce is meant to be stored how you purchase it in the grocery store. Meaning, if you purchase a piece of produce from one of the refrigerated cases along the wall, you're going to want to store that in your fridge. But if you pick something up from one of those middle islands, go ahead and store that on your counter. A bonus to having your produce visible on the counter is it's the first thing you will see every time you walk into the kitchen, thus increasing your chances of selecting it. Another quick note is to be careful placing apples next to any other produce. Apples emit an ethylene gas that helps ripen other fruits and veggies more quickly. In fact, that's a great tip if you're looking to ripen your other products. Simply stick an apple and that unripe fruit inside a brown paper bag on your counter and watch the magic happen the next day. Tip number two, food safety first. Be careful how you stock your fridge. Raw meat should always be stored on the lowest possible shelf to avoid food contamination. The top shelf is perfect for leftovers. Because the doors are often the warmest part of your fridge, do not store milk or eggs here, but instead leave that up to your condiments. Finally, keep foods away from the vents and be sure not to jam your fridge so tight with food that you prevent proper air circulation from keeping your foods cold. And one more tip on leftovers since I mentioned them earlier, leftovers should be consumed within three to four days. Anything over that and the risk of food poisoning increases. One of the mottos I was taught in school over and over again is when in doubt, throw out. Anything questionable, do not take that chance. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time on another episode of Body Metrics.